Hi, I'm Leif Clayson and today I'm going to test the performance of the SMSL Sanskrit 6th generation D2A converter, which I just bought off of eBay for a little over a hundred bucks. I'm going to test it with, um, uh, with composite output out of Breakaway 1. So, to aid with this test, I have a few things. First of all, here's the uh, D2A converter itself. Um, here's a trusty old uh, Tektronix 465 oscilloscope, uh, which was $70, you know, when I bought it 10 years ago or 15 years ago, whenever, uh, and it's probably 40 years old. Uh, I also have a BW Broadcasts 1 watt exciter. Uh, I'm not going to power it up, I'm just going to use it as a terminator, as a load, so to speak. So, so we start by um, opening Breakaway 1 configuration, um, FM processor, MPX output, and under kernel streaming we find the last added device called speaker 2, not very descriptive, but there it is, uh, auto configure block size, Nineteen twenty. So uh, at a sample rate of one hundred and ninety-two thousand, that's a hundred blocks per second. That's pretty reasonable, and the jitter looks nice and low. So we'll try it. Run test and enable the test tones. That looks good. So you can see it's just a straight BNC cable uh, connected to the oscilloscope with the T connector, so that we can um, connect the transmitter in parallel later. So we close this and we run Breakaway One. So there's no audio going through, but you can see the pilot and the RDS flashing on the oscilloscope there. So, MPX output 1, and we start with the square wave. Look at that. And um, now if we load it down, we connect the exciter without tearing it down onto the floor. Level decreased, but there is no tilt. This thing is DC coupled. And then we go to the quick sweep. And we see that there's a little bit of a roll off, so I'm just going to equalize that. That looks perfectly straight to me. Okay, so we'll disconnect the load, and it just it still looks perfectly straight. So the load, which I measured at one kilo ohm, is not in fact affecting the frequency response. And then finally the most important test because this thing has a soft power switch. So what happens when we unplug power? So now it's off and we plug it back in again. And it remembered the last state and it kept and it continued processing. So there you have it. This looks like a perfect choice for use with MPX output for Breakaway 1 or other software processors.